Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about seven elevated essentials that every woman should own in their closet. So seven must-haves for fall. This actually can be for spring and summertime as well since where I live is not as cold as where you are, perhaps. But still, these are all functional pieces that I believe you need in your closet for all year round. I stated the elevated essentials because when we talk about essentials, they are basics. So it is important to have basics, for example, camisoles, black and white, t-shirt, v-neck, crew neck, black and white, all neutrals, like basic, basic items that I believe pretty much all we know already. So in this video, what I'll touch on, it is elevated essentials. So elevated basics, a bit more, more than basic. So your lip better, basic, but not so basic. Cause basics could get boring, but these are all exciting pieces that I cannot wait to wear in this fall. And these will make you look effortlessly chic. Please feel free to comment below what are your elevated essentials, fall must-haves, so we all get to hear each other and learn from each other. Before I jump in, I just want to give a huge thank you to Veronica Beard for partnering with me in this video. Yes, Veronica Beard. First time working with them, but this is one of the most exciting moments for me as a content creator on YouTube and a fashion lover. I recently started loving one, two, three, and more and more from Veronica Beard ever since I got one top. From then, I started to just, yeah, I kept going back and adding one more and more. So I'm like, when I heard, how did you guys know I've been loving you guys? They do a mix of cool, classic, and effortlessly chic vibe. This is what I really, really love about the brand. All the pieces are so easy. You look good, but also you can live in because easy to wear from casual chic to dressy glam looks. First thing I thought of when they contacted me, oh, the classic blazer, chic top, and a cool pair of jeans because these are all must-haves for all year round, the essentials, but elevated essentials. Fun fact, Veronica Beard is a female-owned company founded by two sisters-in-law. And guys, make sure to check down below in the description box if you're interested in the pieces that I am wearing in this video. I'm so excited. Are you guys ready? Shall we dive in? Essential number one. Actually, I was gonna do the jackets and coats that is included with, you know, so many different pieces for the fall time. But like I was talking about where I live, I will pick blazer over all those. Blazer is a total staple for your wardrobe. It can be either tailored style or loose or just basic with one button blazer. And this Miller scuba jacket is my recent favorite. I haven't worn actually, but I am just so excited about it. And before Veronica Beard reached out to me, actually I purchased this. And it's been sitting in my closet just because it's still pretty hot outside. So I just was not able to wear it, but it is one of my favorite. <laughs> just cannot wait to wear it. It's similar to their all time bestseller Miller Dicky jacket, but this in particular is wrinkle resistant. They use the scuba fabric, which is super stretchy, so comfortable guys. It can be so versatile. I do really appreciate and I really like that Miller, the original dicky jacket with the gold button. It comes with silver also, so you can choose either black color or navy. That you can wear with casual and dressy, but more dressy in my opinion. With this Scuba Miller jacket or Miller Scuba jacket, has this more soft looking, almost same color like to the blazer. The color name of the blazer is Acorn or Acorn. I really love this soft camel color that is not too dark or too deep or too rich, but it's really soft, perfect transitioning soft camel color to the fall time from summer. So 
it goes with of course lighter color shade underneath or dark shade it goes with everything endless options that you can pair with this perfect blazer especially with dicky which is the bonus the reason i say this blazer is elevated essential i actually saw this before but i honestly didn't know how it works dicky is the piece that you can add underneath the blazer it looks like you're wearing layering piece underneath the jacket but it does not give you the bulk on your sleeve area or just all over but only this section it makes you look super stylish but like i said no bulk add to it and this dicky jacket comes with so many different versions there is the cashmere scarf version wool mixed cashmere version here is the upstate dicky it's made with 100 soft merino wool they also have the gray color and darker shade i'll link to those down below with so many different options that you can change around even leather version as well as tweed and the hoodie style is super cool and really effortless going to starbucks meeting someone with sweatpants something casual but it elevates it looks more than just basic not so basic but basic so elevated essentials and also it's with the zipper and it's got the button on the back so super easy to put it on and off and if you're interested in the trend for blazers bigger the better <laughs> like poofier the better and just looser the better for trend but just for me i will choose the fit that looks the most flattering but if you want to have a touch of trend go with like boyfriend blazer a bit looser than super fitted so i'll link to those that i like and i recommend also down below number two is the simple white top it can be button down tops or basic t-shirt and the reason i pick white top is because the outfit possibilities are endless you have so many choices to make you can go with shorts jeans skirt mini midi flare or a-line just everything and anything you can wear with white top and i love this veronica beard holly poplum button-up shirt this is another elevated essential piece that has a classic simple look with the details like puffed shoulders and a ruffled color feminine made with stretchy cotton it is more tailored so perfect for work outfit but i will link to those that are more of casual side button up shirts link down below as well and here is the bonus white top that i have been absolutely loving i got the black one first i got the white also <laughs> because I love that black so much you guys know I don't really have this type of body shape on my waist but this top makes me look like I have I love the square neckline very chic and super effortless love it so much it doesn't show any cleavage so cute at the same time sexy i really love it super flattering i just been obsessed and also it's got the ruffle you guys know if you know me carries loves ruffle but it's not like so big or just poofy but it's more like right here which does not make your shoulder look like wider or broader but it just gives nice attention right here because of that and also because of that square neckline it helps your waist to look slimmer it just is all about the illusion you know it's simple but again elevated elevated basic top i always love <laughs> because i can wear it with everything and anytime and i loved pairing this top with alicia denim shore which i'm gonna have to talk about because it is so so cute and you can go with long boots or stilettos that i am wearing and i just love the corset style on the waist pleating on the front very flattering with the a-line shape it's effortless yet polished 
And the third is the cashmere sweater. Neutral always is the way to go. The beige, white, black, navy, or what, camel. If you have sensitive skin and you feel super itchy with like wool or something mixed, bland type of sweater, I highly recommend you to try cashmere, cashmere sweaters. Yes, different qualities there. Lower price point to the premium cashmere, the softest. They're lighter than wool in weight and also much softer to your skin, plus keeps you warmer. I love wearing loose style cashmere sweater with skinny jeans and boots together during fall time, but also it's great to have light sweater to wear alone or as layering piece as well. Again, basic, but better than just basic, the sweater that will make you happy and excited to put on on your body. For me, I picked this gorgeous mauve color, soft pink cashmere sweater. This is not chunky or loose style, but more of lined and fitted and just beautiful rib details. And for me, soft pink shade like baby pink is just like wearing beige or white or black, those neutral colors because this color literally goes with everything. I think you should try if you've never tried or thought of it because it is not so basic but still basic and it is neutral and again, it goes with everything and it's prettier. And here's another bonus to mention, mixed with button up shirt, white shirt, with the sweater, but with the vest. So they're combined together to make one top. It's called Sarwa Mixed Media Top. This is another elevated essential piece. 100% merino wool vest that's layered over a crisp pop plum shirt. It's just so clever. They're attached together so you don't actually have to wear two different pieces to give that bulk or you just have to be keep moving things around to make it in place but it is all done in one piece but you're looking like wearing two different things. And I'm pairing it with skinny flare jeans here, which I'm going to talk about next. The basic jeans in general, we have so many different styles. Skinny jeans, flare style, bootcut, wide leg, distressed jeans, or baggy style, or tapered style. There's so many different type of jeans. I say you need to find out what kind of jeans suit you or flatter you the most for your body shape. For me personally, I go with cropped and flare, tiny bit, just a little bit of flare because it looks cute and feminine. And also I choose cropped because I'm petite. I'm not that tall. So when I choose crop, they sit me like ankle, ankle cuts. Right now, baggy style, loose type, like white leg and bootcut, those are really in style, like on trend. I have a few pair of bootcut and I do quite like, but I'm not really wearing them because I'm not used to it. I don't feel that comfortable in them, even though I do like the look of them. Today, the elevated essential jeans. I have one that is very, very pretty and it's in between skinny jeans and also boot cut. So those are mixed combined together. Giselle or Giselle skinny flare jean. It's high rise stretchy denim. Clearly you can see I need to get the alteration done too long, but once it's done, I think I'm gonna be all over these because the color is just killer. I really, really love this color shade and also I love this midsection with a tie, tie waist. It highlights. Thigh area has the skinny jean effect, so it gives nice silhouette. It falls really nicely on the flare shape. On the bottom, it's not as wide like boot cut or the white leg jeans, but it's got skinny and the flare on the bottom, which I like, but it is a little bit more flare than I'm used to. It's new to me, but 
I'm very excited about this, wearing them this fall. And also when I saw these on the model, I was thinking, wow, because the model has no tummy, they look great. Maybe it will look mm, not as good. <laughs> I still went for them because it just, I really, really like the pocket area. It has folded with little buttons. I like the little details. It's different than the typical jeans. And also the high waist, it has the belt. Because the belt part draws the attention, so your tummy hides. Number five, boots. Ankle booties are most typical. It goes with skirt, dress, white leg jeans, or the jeans that I'm wearing in this video. Goes with everything. And also most climate, it will cover for fall time, unless it's super cold. Go with long boots and Personally, I really love long boots because they just elongate your legs and I just love the look. But for me, I just don't have that much of opportunity unless we go somewhere that are pretty cold. Then I get to wear them. These are the Lisa Stiletto Heeled Booty from Veronica Beard. The color I chose, Chestnut. It comes with black and taupe as well. Beautiful, rich brown shade. These look just so sexy and so got beautiful on, but cannot wear them for many hours. Still, I love, love the pointy toe. Okay, let's talk about the handbag, the Elevated Essential. Darker shade, it just works for fall and winter time because you wear darker shade outfit more, right? So black is just most well-loved color especially for fall and winter time but i chose this for this video because it's darker shade perfect for fall and winter time but also it is unexpected color it is not black it is not camel like the gold shade dark plummy color or dark brown but it has the rich red shade undertone it's called rouge cellier that's the color name it's very unique i just been really really loving and i added this for the spring i mean summertime but without this perfect fall but still i like to add that because i still wear white during fall and winter and if you want me to make a dedicated video focused on like only some number of handbags that every woman should own let me know comment below because i do have an idea but that is not gonna be easy <laughs> number seven has many but if i have to focus on one i'll say leather jacket other than leather jacket i'll say long cardigan trench coat these three are my like go-to for fall time it's really up to you how cold it gets where you leave but for me Camel cut or puffers, like I mentioned earlier on in this video, are for winter time only. So I'm not adding those, but I love also wearing a cute puffer vest or light trench coat or long cardigan during fall time. The leather jacket I am pairing here with Veronica Beard Athlean white dress. This is a great example for a nice transitional look with what you already have for summer spring dress. Wear it with leather jacket or a blazer or others and wear boots. It instantly becomes a perfect fall look. Like I said, please share with us what are your fall must-haves, elevated essentials that you think we need to know also. Please comment down below. And thank you so, so, so much for watching this video. And the links are down below in the description box. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.